Okay, in this video we are going to work example 1.4. In example 1.4 you're asked to perform some unit conversions. There's four of them. The first one is 38.5 centimeters, convert that to meters. Then 30 milliseconds, convert it to seconds. 405 grams, convert it to kilograms. And finally 80 kilometers per hour, convert it into meters per second. So let's do these in order and we'll start with A. In A you're asked to convert 38.5 centimeters into meters. So let's try this first using the unit factor method. So here's 38.5 centimeters and I want to convert this into meters. So what I'm going to do is multiply by a, that one of those forms of one and when you multiply by a form of one you're not changing anything. So the form of one I'm going to choose is one meter over 100 centimeters because one meter is equal to 100 centimeters I'm not going to change this quantity I'm just going to change the units and I've been careful to represent meters on the top and centimeters on the bottom of this fraction so that the centimeters will cancel out. And so when I do that, I am going to get 38.5 divided by 100, or it's going to be equal to uh, 0 0.385 meters. Okay. Now I could also do this simply by moving the decimal point. And after you do enough of these, that's the way you're going to want to do it. So I could start off with 38.5. And I recognize that in converting centimeters to meters, since they're off by a factor of 100, and because centimeters are smaller than meters, I'm going to want to move this decimal point two places to the left. So I move it one, two places, and my new quantity is 0 0.385 uh, meters. We'll do the same thing for part B. We have 30 milliseconds, and we're going to convert that into seconds. So we're going to be multiplying by a form of one, which is one second, and the number of milliseconds in one second, which is 1,000 milliseconds. So again, quantities cancel and I get 30 divided by 1,000, which is going to be equal to 0 0.03 seconds. Okay. And again, I could get it by moving the decimal point as well, 30 milliseconds. In this case, I'd be moving the decimal point three places because there are 1,000 milliseconds in a second. So one, two, three, and I have to add that additional zero. So I will wind up with 0 0.03, or three hundredths of a second. Okay, now we'll look at part C. In part C, it's 405 grams, and we're going to be converting this into kilograms. So I'll multiply by, again, a form of one, one kilogram divided by 1,000 grams. That is a form of one because there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram. And so again, grams will cancel, and I'll wind up with 405 divided by 1,000, or 0 0.405 kilograms. And again, I could get the answer by shifting the decimal point as well. And in the final part, we're supposed to find 80 uh, kilometers per hour expressed in meters per second. This is going to be a little bit more complicated. We're going to have to put in a couple of conversions here. And the first one is going to be getting rid of kilometers and introducing meters. The next one is I want to get rid of hours and I want to put in seconds. So I could do this in two steps as I did in the example in class. I'm going to do it in one step here. I could say one hour is the same as 3,600 seconds. That's 60 minutes times 60 seconds per minute. 60 times 60 is 3,600. And when I do this, I will get kilometers canceling, get hours canceling, and I'm going to be left with meters per second. So now if we bring in the calculator to do this computation, what I'm going to be doing is multiplying 80 by 1,000 and then dividing that answer by 3,600. And I see that my answer comes out to be 22 and the units I'm left with are meters per second. And that is how you work example 1.4.